the top seven ways to manage a gout attack in 2019. Let me ask you, do you feel a little gouty? If so, then this video is for you. You see, according to the gout page on Wikipedia, depending on the type of food you eat and the condition of your gout, an attack can occur as soon as 30 minutes after eating certain types of food. However, for most people, it can be up to 24 hours or longer to experience a full gout attack. And the reason for the delay in a gout attack is it takes times for the proteins in purine content to be broken down into uric acid. Uric acid is a natural byproduct of metabolism. However, for some people, it accumulates in the blood and forms painful crystals called uric acid crystals. And that is what causes the gout attack. And these newly formed crystals travel the body through the bloodstream. However, since this crystal formation is usually heavier than the blood carrying it, they are pulled to the lower portions of the body due to gravity. And this is the main reason why gout sufferers experience a gout attack in their feet when compared to other areas of the body. In addition, the spaces between the joints of the big toe are among the largest in the body. These spacious areas soon become a magnet to jagged, pain-causing crystals. And according to a study published on Wiley Online, a gout attack was twice as likely to occur during the night compared to the daytime. And the researchers pointed out this is due to several possibilities, including dehydration, a lower body temperature, and a less active body during the nighttime. So what should you do to reduce the pain of a gout attack when it occurs? And that's why we made this video. How to lessen the pain of an attack. Treating a sudden gout attack requires a rapid response. So let's learn what you can do to lessen the pain of an attack. First, grab some ice and cool down the area. And if you don't have an official ice pack, the next best option is to grab some ice cubes and place them in a plastic bag. And to keep the plastic bag that is filled with ice from getting too cold when you place it on the gout affected area of your body, wrap the bag in a dishcloth. Then apply the wrapped bag of ice to the afflicted area to help ease the inflammation and pain. And another popular option is to use a bag of frozen peas. Again, wrap the bag of peas in a dish towel and apply it to the area. And if possible, try to keep the ice pack or the bag of peas on the area for at least 20 to 25 minutes at a time and repeat this several times during the night and the following day. Next, stay hydrated. Dehydration can contribute to the severity of a gout attack. Make sure to drink plenty of fluids including water and tart cherry juice. Because published research has shown that tart cherry juice helps to dissolve uric acid crystals that form between the joints. And once dissolved, these former uric acid crystals will be carried from the afflicted area through the blood and then finally flushed out through the kidneys in your urine. And another benefit of drinking fluids is it causes you to urinate a lot more often. And the more you urinate, the faster you can flush excess uric acid from the body. Next, get naked. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, you read that right. But only get the part of the body that is suffering from gout naked. And make sure to keep any sort of heavy clothing off of your bare foot and your big toe. Next, consider taking OTC or over-the-counter pain medication. Over-the-counter medications, including aspirin, can be a good way to manage acute gout pain. But always consult your healthcare provider before taking any type of OTC medication. Next, avoid alcohol. Sipping on a glass of wine or enjoying a quick shot of whiskey may sound like a great way to relax during a gout attack, but avoid the temptation. You see, alcohol, including beer, wine, and whiskey, contain high levels of purines, and excess purines are the initial cause of the gout attack. In addition, alcohol slows the removal of uric acid from the body. And if you're looking for something to drink during a gout attack, enjoy a fresh cold glass of water or 
as mentioned before in this video, a glass of tart cherry juice. Next, elevate your foot and get a cane. Get a cane so you can walk around the house as you recover. What this does, this allows you not to place any pressure on your foot. Also, while resting, place a pillow under your foot and keep the height of your foot higher than your chest. And finally, get some gout-friendly socks. Simply grab some socks and cut the toe section completely out. This will allow your foot to remain warm, your gout-afflicted area to get naked, and you don't have to worry about any weight from the socks weighing on your toe. And to learn more about tart cherry juice, visit TraverseBayFarms.com. Disclaimer, consult your healthcare professional prior to making changes to your diet or any new type of food that you would like to consume. This is for informational purposes only and not medical advice.